I'm getting wet. I'm melting. I'm melting. Welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Chrissy and we are in Poodle right now. And it's a really rainy day, but I'm really looking forward to going to check out this wonton mi noodle restaurant, but also ICC Poodle because I heard that ICC Poodle, which is a hawker store, has really good food there. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to see what we can find. So I just got to this restaurant, but apparently she doesn't know if she's gonna have any more. So I'm hoping that she does because they do close at 11.30 and it's about like 10.30 right now. So if not, then we'll just have to go to like another restaurant to find some wonton me and um, see what else we can get in the area. So it's been about like 20 minutes already since we've been waiting. So I'm like, I hope that we'll be able to have it. I just ordered a Chinese tea. I'm just sitting here drinking it, enjoying it until my, uh, my food comes. But looking at other people eat, it's making me really hungry and really excited. So the smell is like amazing. But on a good note, the rain stopped. And the funny thing is that we were supposed to leave at 8 o'clock this morning, but it was pouring raining. So we waited until like 9, 9.30 because it stopped. But as we were walking to the train station, it started pouring raining again. So we ended up getting soaked. Like my shirt is like soaked. <laughs> so we ended up getting soaked. And by the time we got here, it was still raining. So um, yeah, I mean, we're here now and uh, we're gonna make the best of it. So this is the one tongue me and it looks good <laughs> like mm. oh my gosh that's pretty good it's like sweet like charred a bit yeah it's a bit charred i'm gonna try the noodles and see if it's um a great texture look at this guys i love noodles that is so good I think this is a medium. There's a small, medium, and large. We got a medium to share, but I feel like I should have just had this plate for myself because this is like the perfect serving for me. But the noodles are like perfect. They're like al dente, not too soft, not too hard. The pork is like nice and sweet. The texture of the pork is really good too. The veggies, even that has flavor. I'm assuming this is like soy sauce or something or like some tamarind, I don't know. And then like the noodles are like oily, so like very, very flavorful. And it comes with like minced pork too. So it has like a little salty taste to it. I guess when you mix everything together, it balances the flavors. It also comes with some wonton soup. So I have some good looking wontons here. All right, let's try this. It's good, I like it. I'm eating all of them though. I'm not sharing this. So I'm in ICC Pudo and this place is pretty big and I'm just like looking for some food. Um, lots of sweets and stuff, lots of snacks and everything. I'm not sure what I want to eat yet so I'm just doing like a little walk around first to see if there's anything that I want. So we'll walk around once and then we'll circle back. I kind of want some more wonton meat because that was pretty good. So I stopped and I ended up getting me some coffee. I'm so happy. Um, this coffee place, this coffee is actually really good. I love coffee and milk tea. I mean, sorry, like coffee and uh, like condensed milk. It's like so, 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 so good. And I'm so happy that I got this. But we just ordered some pork ball noodle and I think we ordered some like uh, Mi curry or something like that. I think that's what it's called. Mi curry. So this is like the mi curry, like curry noodle, but has like pork, tofu in it. I'm thinking this is like maybe like is this like clams or like what is this called? Oysters. I think this is like oysters. I do not like oysters either, so I don't think I'm gonna eat that. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it, but I'm not a, like I do not like oysters at all. <laughs> I've had it plenty of times. I think I would eat squid more than I would eat oysters. This has like different, oh, there's like two different types of noodles. So there's like some sort of like skinny angel hair noodles and there's like a thick noodle in here as well. And there's like egg, or is this tofu? And then these little green bean things, so. Okay. 
Let's try this broth though. That's rich and like super creamy. Nice and oily. It's like some coconut milk in there. You definitely taste that. This this bowl is like very filling. I don't think like after cooking this, I'm gonna want any more food. I think I like the thicker noodles better. Yeah, that pork has like a nice sweet flavor to it. I don't know what this is, but I thought it was maybe tofu. It looks like it's tofu. But then like, that's the thing. Like sometimes I think it's tofu, sometimes I think it's egg. But I guess it's, this is like tofu, right? Tofu, right? Cause this, I know this is tofu. That's good. It's so nice and crunchy. It tastes, it tastes like um, it tastes like the white part of the egg, but like I don't know. <laughs> it just I, like I can't describe it. I don't know. It literally tastes like the white part of the egg that's fried. I don't know. It's crunchy. It's interesting though. So this is supposed to be the pork wall noodle. But this is how much he saved me. But I'm gonna try it and enjoy whatever's left of it. Mm. So this is like an oily noodle. The pork in it is like it has like a sweet tangy kind of flavor to it. It tastes oniony as well, like sweet onion. That's probably from the green onions or the scallions. And um, I like this more like on the sweeter side, not too sweet, but like. It's like perfectly sweet. And the noodles are a bit soft, but I, that's how it's supposed to be, I guess. But it tastes really good. But I'm surprised I like this one better than the um, the meat curry, because normally I really love coconut and curry together. But it's just something about like the oily noodles and the sweetness of the noodles with the onion flavor that just like really has me like, okay, this is like amazing. <laughs> Like the pork tastes like, it has like crunchiness to it. It's kind of as if like, you have like pork belly and you shred it really, really tiny. For some reason, like it just literally tastes just like that. Like that crunchy charredness to the pork skin. I mean, that's, that's just the flavor that I'm getting. Mm. It's like sweet and salty. Mm. I want another one. This is really good. I could have just came here. I didn't even need to get the wonton meat from the other place. So this is like filling. I'm, I'm just about full. But I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna finish this up. I think he ate all the oysters, clams, mussels. They're all the same to me. I never know the difference. Like once I see that in there, I just think automatically that it's like oysters for some reason. Or clams. I actually wanted to try it. Is this one? All right, I'm gonna give it a shot. I think I've tried this a few times and I didn't like it, but I'm gonna try it again and see how it tastes. I don't know. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> see how like this broth is like pretty oily and Creamy. Look at this cream. Like you can tell, like the coconut milk and everything in it looks so delicious. I'm just gonna finish it all. So it's 12 o'clock now. The place closes at 2 o'clock. I think I'm gonna walk around for an hour and come back and get more to take home. There's like so many different stalls here. Like you have like wonton mee, you have pork noodle soup, you have um, desserts like a pan balik, you have coffees, you have just a lot of different like noodles, soups, and just a variety of different things that, I mean, and this is very affordable. I mean, I would definitely come back. Like we're here, we're in this area for like a few more days. I think we might have to come back just to try something different. But the coffee here is really good. That place we went to get that coffee, mm. I definitely think it's worth coming to Purdue and checking it out. It was delicious. <laughs> so right now I'm gonna go try to see if we can go get dessert. So I am a little bit stuffed, so I'm gonna try to see if I can try it. But um, if not, then you know, I'll probably still come back here later on though, before they close, to go get some takeaway.
so I ended up getting like this um it's like a paste some sort of paste so I think this is like peanut and then sesame and I never tried something like this before and it looks really interesting um it's very like jiggly <laughs> so I'm gonna try this and see how it tastes I think I'll start with the peanut I wanted to get the mixed one but they didn't have the mixed one she was actually like all out of it so um couldn't get it but I don't know is this like maybe some sort of like porridge or something like that I'm guessing I don't know that's actually not bad like I don't know what I expected it to taste like it tastes like some sort of like like a breakfast type dessert it's not sweet it tastes like kind of like a peanut porridge or like peanut porridge with sesame in it yeah peanut porridge with sesame <laughs> I like it a lot though it's it's good I love it this is really good I think the mixed one would have tasted the best though especially with the almond the walnut the peanut sesame mm. this is delicious so freaking good my gosh so I don't know if people like just eat this like a dessert I mean it says dessert on there it says dessert house ruby dessert house this I could definitely eat first thing in the morning for breakfast maybe with like a little bit of a little bit more like a or a little bit of some condensed milk I'm not sure what they put in it to sweeten it up if it's like condensed milk or like some sort of cane sugar or something like that but it's not like super sweet it's like just perfect I love the peanut though for some reason like I expected it to be a little thicker but it's actually like really loose but it's so good so I'm just gonna mix everything together now I wish I had like some bread or something to dip in that <laughs> So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, you share the video, and of course, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, I think this area, Purdue, actually has a street night market as well. Um, so maybe we'll come back in the area, check it out at some point. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.